This video will cover difficult questions part 1 regarding the topic of trigonometric substitution. Question 1. Here we need to use the bipart first. If using the bipart is difficult, try reviewing it. The order to find u is leap at. That means add n inverse trig polynomial exponent and trig. In here, u is arc sine of x, then dv equals x dx, then derive on each side du equals 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared dx, then v equals x squared over 2. Now use the formula integral of u dv equals uv minus integral of v du. Back to the original, u times v equals x squared over 2 times arc sine of x minus integral of v means x squared over 2 du means this part 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared dx since the first part has already been determined let's do this integral part separately 1 over 2 integral of x squared over square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Now we can use trigonometric substitution. Let x equal sine theta, then dx equals cosine theta d theta, the denominator square root of 1 minus x squared equals square root of 1 minus x equals sine theta, then sine squared theta equals square root of cosine squared theta, which is cosine theta. Then back to the original, 1 over 2 integral of x squared means sine squared theta, over the denominator is cosine theta dx equals cosine theta d theta then cancelled equals 1 over 2 integral of sine squared theta the power of sine is even then use the half angle identity for sine which is 1 minus cosine 2 theta over 2 d theta, we can rewrite as 1 over 4 integral of 1 minus cosine 2 theta d theta. Then integrate 1 over 4 theta minus, do you remember the formula? Integral of cosine kx dx equals sine kx over k plus c. In here, k equals 2. So sine 2 theta over 2 plus c. Then 1 over 4 theta minus, we can rewrite sine 2 theta as 2 sine theta cosine theta over 2 plus c. We can simplify 1 over 4, theta minus 2 is cancelled, sine theta, cosine theta, plus c, equals 1 over 4. From here, theta is arc sine of x minus, draw the right triangle where the respect angle is theta. The sine ratio is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So we labeled x and 1 here, then x squared plus b squared equals 1 squared, then b squared equals 1 minus x squared, then b equals square root of 1 minus x squared, 
then the adjacent side is square root of 1 minus x squared. Then sine theta is x, and cosine theta is square root of 1 minus x squared plus c. Then expand 1 over 4 arc sine of x minus 1 over 4x square root of 1 minus x squared plus c. Then back to the original. The final answer is x squared over 2 arc sine of x minus here. Then first one is 1 over 4 arc sine of x. Then this change it plus x over 4 square root of 1 minus x squared plus c. Question 2. Factor the first two terms of the numerator. Integral of x, then x squared plus 1 plus 1 over x to the power of 4 plus 2 x squared plus 1 dx. The denominator x to the power of 4 plus 2x squared plus 1, we can rewrite as x squared then squared plus 2x squared plus 1. Let x squared be a, then a squared plus 2a plus 1. Then we can factor a plus 1 squared, then a was x squared x squared plus 1 squared. Now, the denominator is x squared plus 1 squared. Now, divide the fraction to get two terms. First one is x over x squared plus 1 plus the second one is 1 over x squared plus 1 squared dx. Now write separately as each integral x over x squared plus 1 dx plus 1 over x squared plus 1 squared dx. For the first one, use u substitution. Let u equal x squared plus 1, then du equals 2x dx. And divide by 2 on each side, du over 2 equals x dx. Then back to the original, the integral of x dx equals du over 2, then 1 over 2 du, then 1 over x squared plus 1 is u. For the second one, use trig substitution, let x equal tangent theta, then dx equals secant squared theta d theta, and x squared plus 1 equals tangent squared theta plus 1, which means secant squared theta. Then back to the original, plus the integral of 1 over x squared plus 1 is the secant squared theta. x squared plus 1 squared. This part squared, which is the secant to the power of 4 theta. Then dx equals secant squared theta d theta. The first one, 1 over 2, integral of 1 over u du equals ln u equals 1 over 2 at an absolute value of u was x squared plus 1. And x squared plus 1 is always positive, so we don't need absolute value sign. Just bracket x squared plus 1. Plus this part is cancelled. The integral of 1 over secant squared theta d theta, which means cosine squared theta d theta, we can rewrite as 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2 d theta. Since the first part has already been determined, let's do this integral part separately. 
1 over 2 integral of 1 plus cosine 2 theta d theta equals 1 over 2 theta plus this part sine 2 theta over 2 plus c 1 over 2 times theta plus sine 2 theta equals 2 sine theta cosine theta over 2 plus c then 2 is cancelled then draw the right triangle where the respect angle is theta. Tangent theta is x. The ratio of tangent theta is opposite side of adjacent side. Then x and 1 here. Then c squared equals x squared plus 1 squared. Then c equals square root of x squared plus 1. Then the hypotenuse is square root of x squared plus 1 equals 1 over 2 theta is arc tangent x plus sine theta is x over square root of x squared plus 1 times cosine theta is 1 over square root of x squared plus 1 plus c then we can rewrite as 1 over 2 times arc tangent of x plus together x over x squared plus 1 plus c. Now back to the original. The first part and second part is this. Both have 1 over 2. So the final answer is 1 over 2. And then x squared plus 1. The second part arc tangent of x plus x over x squared plus 1 plus c. This is the last one. We need completing the square of x squared minus 6x six plus 5 equals x squared minus 6x. Then we need the middle term divided by 2 which is minus 3 then squared minus 9 so like 0 and plus 5, this part, we can factor x minus 3 squared, then minus 4. Now, use a trigonometric substitution, like x minus 3 equal to secant theta, then dx equals to secant theta, tangent theta, d theta. Then back to here, x minus 3 squared is 2 secant theta squared minus 4 then 4 secant squared theta minus 4 we can factor 4 secant squared theta minus 1 then 4 times this part is tangent squared theta then the denominator square root of x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals square root of this part is this 4 tangent squared theta that means 2 tangent theta then back to the original the integral of x equals from here with minus 3 to the right then 2 secant theta plus 3 over square root of x squared minus 6x plus 5. That means 2 tangent theta dx equals 2 secant theta tangent theta d theta. Then 2 is cancelled. Tangent theta is cancelled. Integral of 2 secant squared theta plus 3 secant theta d theta. Then integrate 2 tangent theta plus 3 and then absolute value of secant theta plus tangent theta plus c. 
from here, secant theta equals x minus 3 over 2. Then draw the right triangle with respect angle as theta and x minus 3 and 2 here. Then b squared plus 2 squared equals x minus 3 squared. Then b squared equals x minus 3 squared minus 4. But this part is actually the first one. Then b squared equals x squared minus 6x plus 5. Then b equals square root of x squared minus 6x plus 5. Then the opposite side is square root of x squared minus 6x plus 5. Then 2, tangent theta is opposite side of adjacent side. Square root of x squared minus 6x plus 5 over 2 plus 3 at an absolute value of secant theta is x minus 3 over 2 plus tangent theta is square root of x squared minus 6x plus 5 over 2 plus c. Then 2 is cancelled. Square root of x squared minus 6x plus 5 plus 3 ln absolute value of make one single fraction x minus 3 plus square root of x squared minus 6x plus 5 over 2 plus c equals square root of x squared minus 6x plus 5 plus now use the logarithmic property we can rewrite as 3 at an absolute value of x minus 3 plus square root of x squared minus 6x plus 5 minus 3 ln 2 plus c. Now I will change c to c1. Then the final answer is square root of x squared minus 6x plus 5 plus 3 ln absolute value of x minus 3 plus square root of x squared minus 6x plus 5 plus c, where minus 3 ln 2 plus c1 b c. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.